Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another Plan With Me video. Um, today I have a little bit of a dilemma. I'm not entirely sure which um, spread to do, which like theme spread to do in this week. I was initially thinking of doing like this one with like these tropical fish and using my Libyan Co. June kit set um, just because it's the last week in June so like the colors will kind of coincide and so if I do that then I'm going to use these two washies here. So that was one idea. <laughs> Another one I'm like dying to use this like county fair sticker book that I got at Michael's and then I would use these washies with it. So I'm like super torn on what to do. Let me just like look ahead here. <laughs> okay so in July we have red as like the numbers because I mean obviously I'm going to cover up the morning day and nights and stuff and so you would see the red so maybe I should wait and use the county fair one until July. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I had someone comment on one of my videos saying that, or I think it was on Instagram, saying that she enjoyed watching like the process of how I like come up with my spreads and like that's seriously what I do guys. Like I've been pondering here for like the last five minutes on what to do here this week, but I think I'm gonna stick with the tropical fish set. Use some of these stickers, not all of them, because in all honesty, I'm probably not gonna buy a monthly set like this again because I don't, I don't really use like all these kind of washies and stuff like I kind of have my own spin on it so I don't think I'm going to use these sort of a whole ton of stuff from here but I will use some and then the two washies I have I have some glitter washi here that I got from actually this isn't even washi this is um, actual tape glitter tape that I got from the dollar store and then I have this kind of like fish scale looking one that I got from a set in Michael's so that is what we're gonna do thanks for helping me through that guys <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to show you a completed last week's spread here. Um, I'm filming this on Saturday night, and you'll notice like quite a few little cancelled things in this week's spread. I was really not feeling good from about, yeah, I guess like Wednesday night kind of on, and then Saturday here I still wasn't feeling good in the afternoon. I'm feeling a bit better here tonight, but I ended up having to cancel two events that I was really looking forward to this week. Um, my bridesmaids dresses are in, and so I was going to go with one of my bridesmaids to pick hers up, and I ended up canceling that and then I also ended up canceling or not going to the bridal shower that I had planned on going to today. I just have not been feeling good. I feel really bad that I missed those two appointments but um, with my wedding coming up this year I kind of got to make sure that I'm taking care of myself so um, sadly I had to cancel those and yeah this is what my week ended up looking like. Um, I've kind of left this Sunday a little bit open here just in case I want to add some stuff or whatever and silly me Big Brother is, does not premiere tomorrow night on Father's Day, which super sucks. It actually premieres on um, Wednesday here. So I have a little flag for this week and I'll end up filling that in. So that kind of sucks. Um, I don't really know how I got it mixed up like that, but I found out that it doesn't premiere tomorrow. So anyway, this is what last week's ended up looking like. This week I'm planning from June 22nd to June 28th. This is the last week for the June colors in like a full week. This is the next week, and then it's got some June days and some July days. And this is the first month that I've run into this sort of dilemma, just because I haven't had my Erin Condren for that long. So um, I'll have to go about planning this in some cool way. But this is my last week for the full June colors. And since I haven't used, like, any of the June colors at all this month, I was thinking um, I should probably, like, at least use the June colors. So that's what we're going to do in this week. So let us get started here. First thing I'm going to do is just take my little flaggies off the weeks here and this was just some ideas that I had for my plan with me this week that I didn't want to forget and I still have my day off thing in here that I'm just going to erase. So I'm going to do something a little bit different for this week. So what I've been noticing throughout the last few weeks is that I've been using like my personal, my to-do and my nail work and I will do my personal but let's say I write it out for Tuesday because that's what I think of it on and then I'll do it on Thursday and so it's kind of frustrating me that I'm not getting them done on the specific days that they I've listed them for. And another thing I'm noticing is that I'm not posting on social media as much as I want. I mean, I post on Facebook basically every single day, post on YouTube when I can, and I try and post on Instagram when I can as well, but my Pinterest is like ser seriously lacking here. So what I'm going to do new for this week is I'm going to go back and use these social media stickers that I made up. Um, I made these uh, using PixArt online. And then I just printed them on like some full label sheet and um, they just fit in the little boxes here perfectly. They don't, like if I'm going to overlap the name, they don't fit. So I'm just going to make sure that I cover my wash, uh, do enough of my washi to cover it up here. But I am going to go back and use my social medias because when I was using my social media stickers, when was that? Back on this week's spread, like I was really good at checking them all off. The only thing that didn't work was YouTube for this week. So I think... 
I'm not going to plan to like do something for YouTube every single day, but when I get YouTube done, I'll just make a little note of it is what I'm going to use those stickers for. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in and put my stickers in. So I'm going to use my stickers from Nikki Michelle as usual. We're going to do our personal, we're going to do our nail work, and we're going to do the social media stickers this time. Because it's kind of like an aquatic theme, I'm going to use as much blue and turquoise colors on this spread as I possibly can. Okay, so I've done my headings and I decided because I do have this Monday off, I just put like a little to do on here because I didn't want to do a whole ton of nail work. What I've decided because I'm taking away like my to do on every single day, my sidebar here is going to be a running to do list for the week. And then as I have things that I need to do, I'll put them on here and then it doesn't even matter what day I get them done as long as I get them done by like Sunday of this week. So I think that that'll work a lot better for me. Because I have a lot of stuff to do, I am just going to use one of these check flaggies from Nikki Michelle as well. I'm so excited because I was doing a June no buy, so I've been like really good about not buying planner stuff or like nail stuff or makeup or anything. And um, come July, which is like next week, well, I guess a week and a half from now, um, I'm done my no buy. So I'm not going to go crazy at buying stuff, but as I've been planning my videos out and doing my plan with me's, I've been noticing some things that I, I wish I had or some stickers that I'm going to go look for. And so come July, I will be buying some more stickers, but they're going to be more practical stickers. Um, I've come to the conclusion that, like I said, I probably won't be buying like these full um, monthly sheets just because I don't use them. I'm so into theme weeks that it would be so much better for me just to like stick with buying sheets like this that are practical but are like have a whole ton of different colors. This would make a lot more sense for me than buying these sort of things. So um, that's kind of what I'm going to be looking for. I have like a runner, running list back here in my notes section of like some things that I want to do or some things that I want to buy and these are the stickers that I'm going to look for. So um, that'll be good. So watch out for a sticker haul in July or August depending on how long they take to come to me. So I want to put something on the sidebar here to just kind of denote that it is like a running to-do list. And I have these to-do lists from Libby & Co. The only problem with the Libby & Co stickers is my pen that I use, my Pilot um, G Tech C4 pen does not write on these and I don't in all honesty know if my Sharpie does either so or my Sharpie pen a Sharpie would work I would imagine but a Sharpie pen I don't think does so I'm not sure if I'm gonna use oh, I don't really have anything else though okay I better just use this I'll just have to make sure I'm carrying more than one pen around with me is what I'll have to do or else just wait until it dries okay so now that I have all of my little labels down I'm gonna go in with my washi tape I'm gonna do my blue glitter tape on the bottom here and then I'm going to do this kind of scaly looking one on the side here. I think I want my to-do list to be on top of the washi. <laughs> That's what's good about washi and repositionable stickers from Libby & Co. And I do get a weekend this weekend. I'm going to go in and put some tape down here. It's like the first time that I have cut this like somewhat straight. Typically it's not straight. Should I cover up my headings for the weekend? Sorry guys, I keep referring back to other weeks because there's been things that I wish I would have done differently. Yeah, I am going to cover them up. This is just a washi dispenser that I got from Michaels. I basically use it in like every single week spread so it's nothing really new there. The next thing I'm going to do is fill in my meal planning stickers and my hydrate stickers. I'm going to be um, having to order some more stuff from Nikki Michelle soon too. I see that her shop is closed so I'm hoping that it opens soon. I've been like referring you guys all there and you can't even get anything from her shop right now so hopefully it opens up soon. Okay, so all of our practical stickers are done here. A couple stickers I'm going to fill in before I even start to do anything is I am going to put these stickers from Let's Plan It, and they're just little day off stickers. Because I usually find by the time I start filling stuff in here, I can't put like a little triangle in there. I am going to go with my little washi, my other half of the washi here from when I cut it for the weekend, and I'm going to put it down here as well. Awesome, that's starting to look really good. Okay, I think we can start filling stuff in here now. So whenever Steve and I have a Monday off together, we try and plan as much as we possibly can to get done. Um, we have a couple things that are 
tentative, so I'm not going to put them in yet. On my to-do though, I have to go get my winter tires changed. I know I said that a few weeks ago. I think my last Monday off we had planned to go do the tires, but by the time we actually started doing stuff, I, there was no time to actually go and drop off my car. So um, I have to get my winter tires changed. Um, our cleaning lady who was supposed to come in last week to our house, I had to reschedule her because I was homesick on Thursday. And so she's gonna come on Monday at 12.30. So I need to mark that off. I have to do my weekly confirmation text for my clients for the week. So I'm gonna find my favorite nail polish stickers from Caress Press. Right now I'm storing all my Etsy stickers in this Sephora bag that I got. And like literally this is just, like they're all just in there, just like a free for all. I plan on organizing them better, but I'm just kind of wondering what do you guys do with your stickers? Do you guys have them in a binder? Do you have them in like a photo album? Like what do you guys do? I'm open to like a whole bunch of input and suggestions here. If you guys follow my YouTube or my Facebook page for nails, then you know that I'm like a super organized person. So it's really stressing me out that my stickers are not organized, but I'm just not sure the best exact way to do it because all the sticker sheets are like a whole bunch of different sizes. And I think that's what's kind of bugging me. I have some stickers right now organized in like this photo album, but it's just like four by sixes, right? So it's, I don't know, you can't, like you can fit a bunch of stuff in here, but if there's anything bigger than a four by six, it's not gonna fit in there. So yeah, if you guys can leave me any suggestions about how you guys organize your stickers or what you found, that would be awesome. Here she is, my favorite nail polish sticker sheets. So I'm gonna use this like glittery polish one. Remind me to do my weekly confirmation text. Okay, so I'm gonna use these weekend stickers. I didn't think I had weekend stickers that um, would fit this color scheme, but I do. Um, so I'm gonna use this one down here. I'm always excited to use a weekend banner because I don't always get to use them. And when I'm looking for stickers on Etsy, I'm gonna look for uh, more weekend banners. I want weekend banners that cover just like one day, which is kind of weird, but I like just for my Sunday. And like sometimes I have a Sunday, Monday off. So I'd like one that's had weekend here and then weekend here is what I would probably do. And I want to find them in like rainbow colors. So if you guys have any suggestions for that, that would be awesome. Another thing about um, organizing stickers, I was just wondering, how do you guys organize your stickers? Do you organize them by like Etsy store or by like sticker purpose? I'm trying to find like what the best solution would be. I find that like when I'm looking for stickers, I look for like a specific sticker, right? So it would almost make more sense. But if you have an idea of what all your stickers look like, maybe it makes more sense to keep them with their seller. I'm not sure. I have a personal training appointment at 10 o'clock on Monday. Okay guys, so I'm a super dummy here and pause the camcorder to get this sticker and then I completely forgot to like turn it back on for the rest of the week. So anyway, filled in Big Brother season premiere, premiere here. Thursday I have acupuncture and I could not find acupuncture stickers on Etsy. I guess it's kind of like a weird request, so that's totally understandable. So I'm just using my massage stickers here from, I'm pretty sure I got this from It's Planning Time, but um, go back and watch my Etsy sticker haul because I, I say where I get all these stickers from in that video. So um, use that for that. Um, Eddie has doggy daycare on Thursdays as usual. We bought a new pass last week, so I just filled that in. Um, my cleaning lady is at my nail studio, so I just used one of the stickers from the Libby & Co. sticker sheet to keep track of that. On July 2nd, it has been 10 years since my dad passed away, so we are heading out to one of his favorite fishing spots or whatever, so um, I just kind of took this sticker set that I got. It is a Sticko sticker set, and they are a little bit um, raised, these stickers, but it's not too bad. And um, I just took like the fishing rod and the fishing little fish and put like a little label from Libby and Co as well, just to kind of denote that we're gonna go out to Reeser on Sunday. Then in the evening, I have my planning stickers. So I have my washi sticker set from Pink Paper Plane, as well as my Two Little Bees planner time sticker. And I put that on Sunday as well. I do have Saturday off, so in all honesty, I'll probably just film a whole bunch of videos or something on Saturday. So I might film this video on Saturday, but either way, I wanna have it done by Sunday. Okay, so this is my completed week so far. So let's go in with our stickers and let us decorate this spread up a little bit. The nice thing about using um, the Sticko sticker brand is you can kind of like see where you're gonna put it before you even stick it down. The 
this week just looks like a giant aquarium. I love it. <laughs> I don't even really like fish, so I'm not too sure why I wanted to do this week, but that's okay. And I'm going to save the rest of the stickers on here so that throughout the week, if I have any white space, I can go back in and, and fill them in with the stickers. But I am going to use all these little bubbles. Okay, so I am super happy with how this week turned out. I think it looks really nice, especially for me not being sure what I was going to do with it. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this county fair one next week. I don't know, is my July no buy done next week? No, it's not. I was going to say I might go look for a couple more accessories for it, but I also might uh, save that until I have like a full week in July because... I'm not sure what to do with this. Like, do I carry over my aquatic theme like to here and then continue with a new theme over here? I'm not entirely sure what to do with that. Yeah, anyway, this is my completed week. Comment in the description box below and let me know what you think of how this turned out, what theme you guys did this week, if you guys are doing theme videos as well. All the stickers I've used in here, I will post links in the description box below as to where you can get them on Etsy. If you have any comments, any questions, comment and let me know and I will see you guys in the next plan with me. Bye.